Hello everyone, I'm Dion from Dion Video Productions. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to move or copy your Final Cut events to an external hard drive. Let's get started. Alright, so why would you want to do this? Well, copying an event to an external hard drive is a great way to create a backup or an archive of that given event. Alternatively, if you choose to move your event to an external hard drive, this is a great way to also clear up some storage on your local library as the event and its corresponding media will now be stored in a different location. So without further ado, let's see how this is done. All right, so in a previous tutorial of mine, uh, I looked at how to copy or move projects to an external hard drive, and this is a very similar process. As you can see, if we take a look at the top left hand of the screen here, you'll see that I have my local library open, and as the name implies, this library is stored locally on my Mac's hard drive. Inside the library, I have a few different events, all of which contain different projects. So the first thing we're going to want to do is select an event that we want to carry over. So in this case, I have a fashion film, I have a Nest Mini unboxing, as well as a Final Cut tutorial. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose the Nest Mini unboxing as an example for this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your event is selected and make sure it's highlighted in blue. From here, we're going to go up into the menu and under file, we're going to scroll down to copy event or move event. Now, as mentioned before, copying the event to a new library is a great way to create a backup or an archive of an event while moving the library to an external drive is a great way to clear up some storage. Now, whether you choose to copy or move your event to a library, the steps are identical. In this case, I'm going to be showing you how to copy the event to a new library. Now, if you already have a library on your external hard drive, this will show up here. If you don't, like I do, we're going to have to create a new one by selecting New Library. From here, this screen will come up. This will allow us to choose where the new library is stored. In this case, we want to store this on our external drive. So we're going to scroll down into the Finder window and select it. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and store this. Now, we can choose to rename the library to whatever we like. When you do so, make sure you do not rename the extension, which is the .fcp bundle. However, you can rename the first part. In this case, let's call it external library. There we go. From here, we're going to select save. All right, so from here, a pop-up window like this will appear. And as mentioned before, Final Cut is going to copy the event, the corresponding projects, and all the media that is included in that event. That can be clips, that can be photos, voiceovers. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and include all of the media, the original media. Optimize and proxy do not need to be selected. However, if you have this media separately, then I would suggest selecting it. And it's also good to copy media that may be stored in external locations. From here, we're going to go ahead and press OK. Now, depending on how big your event is, this may take long. However, in this case, should only take a few seconds. All right, so the transfer has now completed. If we go ahead and take a look at the top left hand of the screen here, we'll now find two libraries. We have the local library, the one that we started off with, and we have our new external library listed as well. As you can see, in both libraries, we have an event titled Google Nest Mini, and you'll see that whether I click in the local or the external library, you'll see they are identical, both including the project as well as the corresponding media. So now on our external hard drive, we can go ahead and select the event, open up the project and edit it like we would if it were stored on our local drive. As I mentioned, everything is carried over and we can now completely run and edit this event and corresponding projects from our external hard drive. And now just to further demonstrate that this will still work without running our local library, we're actually going to go ahead and close this. So we're going to right click and select close library. And as you can see, we're now completely running Final Cut off the external library. We can open up the projects, preview it and edit like we would if this were stored on our drive locally. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope this helped you out. If it did, be sure to leave a like down below. If you want to learn how to move projects over to an external hard drive or move an entire library, I have more tutorials for this, which I'll leave linked as well. Thank you very much for watching.